Welcome to week 36. At this point, your baby is now weighing somewhere in the neighborhood of six to six and a half pounds or 2,800 grams, and is measuring about 18 and a half inches or 47 centimeters from head to toe. Keep in mind, these are averages. Some babies will be bigger than that and some will be smaller. You should still be feeling that baby moving every single day. If at any point you're not sure, please pay attention to that voice in your head and do those kick counts. You are still technically preterm, so preterm labor precautions still apply. Five or more cramps in an hour, water running down your leg that isn't urine, bleeding enough to saturate a pad or your baby isn't moving are all excellent reasons to contact your OB provider. That being said, you are now far enough along that if your baby tries to come this week, your provider's probably not gonna do anything to stop your labor. They're not gonna do anything to promote labor, but they aren't gonna stop it either. Still on the lookout for preeclampsia, symptoms for you to be aware of, the worst headache of your life, won't go away no matter what you do. Changes in your vision, black spots, flashing lights, tunnel vision that occur at rest. Burning that happens behind your right breast. Preeclampsia affects the liver, which causes pain. You should never have pain in your liver, which is behind your right breast. Do you have a visit coming up this week? Your provider's probably gonna check your weight. They're gonna get your blood pressure. They're gonna measure your tummy from the top of your pubic bone to the top of your uterus. Remember, centimeters should match weeks, plus or minus two. They will listen to the baby's heartbeat with a Doppler. Normal heart rate is 110 to 160 beats per minute. Your provider will probably try to determine what position your baby is in. 97% of babies are in the head down or vertex position by 37 weeks. Some providers check with their hands, some with an ultrasound. If your baby is not head down yet, I encourage you to check out the YouTube channel, Spinning Babies. They will give you some exercises that you can do to help get that baby properly positioned. Your provider is probably going to do a group B strep test. Group B strep is a normal bacteria. 25%, one out of every four people, colonizes or grows group B strep. It's a normal bacteria that grows in poop. The problem is it's very harmful to babies and your booty and your vagina are right next to each other. So the way we test, we do a swab that looks like this. It goes in your vagina, down by your booty hole. Very awkward, but very necessary. If your test is positive, you will get antibiotics in labor. The antibiotics are not for you. They are for your baby. So what should you be doing this week? Have you found a pediatrician yet? Are you starting to think about what you're gonna put in that hospital bag? You might wanna ask your provider for a list of things that they recommend you bring to the hospital. Have you started making extra food and putting it in the freezer? Are you writing down your questions to ask at your next visit? I hope so. In the meantime, if there's any questions that I can answer, please put them in the comments section below. And you know, I really appreciate it when you hit that like button. You're still here. Thanks so much for sticking around through the entire video. If you feel as though this information has been helpful to you, or you think you know somebody that might benefit from the information provided in these videos, please feel free to like it, share it, and if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you did that. Any and all support that you can provide is so greatly appreciated. As always, these videos were not created as a replacement visit with your healthcare provider, rather as a place for you to come for basic, reliable information that is non-biased and hopefully allow you to figure out what questions to ask your healthcare provider at your next visit to best meet your healthcare needs. Again, I appreciate all of your support. If you want to contact me, my information is at the top of this screen, and I will put it in the comment section of this video. That's all I have for today. This is CJ. I'm at your cervix.